just getting things adjusted switching on the steady cam this is good morning it started off so I just thought I heard a deer there there's deer about I filmed two of them Yeah, it started off cold this morning, but thankfully it's a beautiful day now. The sun's out and it's heating up. I'm just searching just now because there's two deer about here. I filmed them, but they seem to have scarpered. Let's have a look. I'm just beside that ditch that runs from the top of Leafy Wood to the bottom there it's there at the moment it's dry as you all know we've had a dry season so far some rainy days but the majority is bone dry yeah we'll follow this ditch down lovely eh? Look at that scenery. Look at those beautiful trees. Blue skies as you can see. So, let's go for a little walk. I thought I'd talk about uh, a couple of my favourite painters today. Mr Squirrel is here in, in at home today, do you think? Or Mrs. Squirrel keeping the nest tidy. Yeah, I thought I'd talk about a couple of my favourite artists at the moment. As you know, I have many, many favourite artists. But uh, one of my favourite naive artists, as you know, is Antonio Ligarrebo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's an Italian name, he's fairly. I've told you before about him, uh, that he's one of my favourites, so yeah, he's he's my favourite naive artist, Antonio Ligarabio, <laughs> Liga, Ligarabio, yeah, you know, if you type that into Google, you'll, it'll come up, he's a famous artist from Italy, and he does naive paint, well he did do naive paintings, beautiful ones, I mean, a lot of people would uh, would look at them and say, by God, a, a child could draw or paint better, but art is art and that's it. As you as you know, <laughs> there's a lot of my paintings that I've been accused of uh, that a child could uh, do better, but I just laugh it off. In fact, I, I have replied to a couple of guys and say, well, everybody to their own taste and they... Uh, their own skills and whatever. I just laugh at it. Cause art is art, as you know that I can do naive paintings. Aeroplane above me. Just seen the shadow going across Leafy's Wood. Yeah, light aircraft. Must be going up north. Up to the highlands, I think. Yeah. This is going downhill. Down through Leafy's Wood. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, I can't, can't remember what I was talking about there now, naive art, eh? Yeah. Well, as you know, this, this is what I was going to tell you. As you know, I can do naive art, I can do uh, impressionistic art, and I can do fine detail art, as you already know. So if I want to do a painting that looks like <laughs> it's been taking time and detailed and whatever, and it looks, oh, that looks immaculate type of thing, then I can do that, but my favourite style of art, as you know, you already know, is naive style art and impressionistic. But I do all styles just to have a variation. Now, another one of my favourite artists, I mean, I've got, very, I've got lots of famous artists, as you know, Van Gogh. Uh, Van Gogh 
and all those types of artists. Rembrandt. <laughs> Got to watch my feet here. But those are all famous artists. I'm talking about ones that uh, you're not so familiar with to, in today's world. Uh, Antonio Ligarebo is one of them. Another one is this is that ditch again. I know it's dry, but it's deep, and I know I've got to jump it. I've got to jump it. Give me a minute, guys. Eww. That's it. <laughs> Jumped. Yes. Rien Port Leviat. He's a famous wildlife artist. Uh, yeah, Rien Port Leviat. He is. Is it Belgium? Belgium Dutch uh, artist. He does impressionistic paintings of wildlife. Well, semi impressionistic to detail. Uh, Patents of wildlife. So, yeah. Don't use it. So he does. He does semi impersonistic and impressionism, and highly detailed work, which is good. So that is a couple of my artists uh, that I like at the moment. Oh, look at this pile of wood there and it's like there's been an animal lying in there see that yeah definitely something's been lying in there that's maybe one of those deer yeah so that's a big tree that as well look at that lovely eh? I wonder who lives up there bark is beautiful as well take note of the bark yeah, getting here at the sun at the moment. Let the tree hide, hide me from the shade me from the sun. Yeah, so that's a couple of my uh, favourite artists at the moment, and I'll give you one more. The third one is Theodore Major. He's another artist who does well. It's impressionistic and it's naive work, so. I mean, these are three artists that I've already told you about that I like. Uh, yeah, Theodore is one of my favourites as well. He's from my dad's hometown city. He stays in Wigan. Well, my dad was for St Helens, but uh, Theodore Major is, is residing in Wigan. Uh, Apple, is it Apple, Apple Bridge, I think it's called? But yeah, he's a Lancashire guy, so he, he's a, a great artist. Look, look him up, it's Theodore Major. But uh, yeah, I've been filming a couple of deer here. Look down there. Lovely, eh? That's where the deer went, way over into that field over there. But we're just about at the bottom of Leafy Wood. That's... If you understand the paths just below there, that I come in. Look at those golden leaves. Yeah, so that's three. I'll give you three anyway. I'll, I'll, go, I'll give you more on another vlog, but that's three of my favourite artists. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue around here, have a search about, do some wildlife filming, photography and whatever. Get some reference uh, material, pictures and whatever. I've heard a lot of shreks about... Uh, this morning, Shreks, that's the, oh, what's, what do you call them, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's another bird, it's in the magpie family, but I call them Shreks because they make a, a tremendous Shrek noise, uh, but yeah, what I'll do now is, I'll, as I says, I'm going to go about here, I'm going to leave you from Leafy's Wood, but we'll go over to my studio, my, my home, and I'll show you one of my favourite artist's books, uh, which one? Uh, Rien Port Levet. I think we'll give you that one today, but to give you a nice mixed vlog, let's go over, jump over 
to my home and we'll have, have a look and I'll show you one of my books from Rien Port Levet. Bye bye. Where are you, Mr. Deer, Mrs. Deer? Never mind uh, Mrs. Fox, Mr. Fox, and uh, the leafies. Bye bye. Where are you? <laughs> Right guys, that's us back. This is the book. I just turn it around, let you see. This is the book, a beautiful lion there, as you can see. Oh. And it's called The Ark by Rien Put Vliet. Yeah. This book I got from eBay and I think it cost me about 7 or something like that so I think I've still got uh, other ones on eBay so yeah let's have a look at this book The Ark by Rien Portlevier one of my favourite one I'm saying one of my favourite I've got many so this is one of one in the top 10 of my favourites let's go and have a look at it now as you now, as you can see, it is a beautiful cover, as it says. Just get this steadied right. Move these out the road. They're still being done. So, anyway, here you are. Can you see that okay? Let's lower. Tripod. Yeah. As you can see, it has a lot of sketches on the back end of the cover there. And as I said, it's called The Ark. First page. This is a this is a good day uh, page that I enjoyed because Rayen explains that this is the first the first uh, painting he did of this uh, wild uh, boar and he says to us he circled it as you can see look how much he says i looked at this painting and look how much there was a gap there was a space a whole space here and then he says i had to change it and this is a prime example of changing your paintings to suit uh, when you think there's something wrong with it, if there's a vast empty of space or whatever and here is what he did he put instead of the boar here he put two in the field to cover that gap see the difference and that's why i so much enjoyed this book sorry guys had to move there there's a bit of a construction work going outside my living room window so there's a lot of banging there i don't know if you heard it but i've had to move into the studio <laughs> to show you the rest of this book review not a big deal yeah as you can see what a difference that makes to the painting that one's nice as well like but that's the result Anyway, let's get on with it. Now, this is the book, a book by Rien about Noah's Ark. It's basically about Noah's Ark and the flood and all the animals that inhabit, uh, well, that uh, Noah took to escape the flood. Lovely, eh? We might have to just adjust the lighting, guys. It's a bit shiny there. See if I can just adjust it a little bit. Yeah, that's better. I don't know. Wait, hang on a minute, guys. That's better. That's Noah's Ark that he built. And as you can see, it's big. There's a flood coming. And that's the dove. <laughs> the Great Flood. <laughs> Lovely, eh? 
Now, Rien does all his illustrations and paintings for this book by himself. So he's actually done an illustration of what Noah's boat would look like. He said it's more of a box shape than anything else so that they could get all the animals in, which is feasible, isn't it? But yeah. You can see why I love Rien's work. The beautiful detail. I think that's Noah cutting down the trees or whatever uh, to build the ark. But this is a great book. Charcoal drawings as well. As you can see, that's the construction of the boat. Noah and his sons and the, all involved. Lovely. Some type of monkey. The elephants and all the animals helped to build it. Yeah, I've learned so much of my art from Rion, uh, my wildlife paintings anyway. There's one of our lovely fox. Great, isn't it? Mm, goat. One of my favourites, roe deer. <laughs> Let's see if I can move back a bit. That's better. Roe deer. Yeah, this is one of many books that I've got of wildlife art. Rhino! See how he does all the sketches, all the process he does to get the complete. Yeah, that was a... Uh... A passion of Rien is uh, the flood, the great flood with Noah's Ark, getting all the animals out, so... Lovely. Rodier, my favourite cockerel, Rien. Yeah, 79 I paid for this off eBay. And it was free postage as well, which was great. Now, if you think of the postage, it's... A, to post a book like this, it would cost about uh, three pound seventy, three pound eighty in my country. So for that setting class as well, that's my first first class. So I think I got a great bargain, seven ninety nine for a book like this, and it's a hard cover. If you, I'll show you. Take the cover off it. It's a hardback with the gold writing. Such a bargain, and I think, as I says, I looked up yesterday, and they still had some of these books online on eBay and Amazon. I think it is, but you must be careful, guys, because there was books similar to this priced at twenty seven ninety nine, and I might have paid that. You know what I mean? If I thought that uh, that uh, that was only one, but luckily, eBay had recommended that. I had one at seven ninety nine, so lovely. Eh? I'm just going to flick through a couple of these pages and let you relax and see them. It's such. I mean, it's it's full, absolutely stacked full of Rien's paintings. Look at that lovely one, yeah. Fox chasing her hair, and the colours in that painting. Lovely. Eh? Sorry guys, I'm trying to get the the sheen away from the book, but I think I'm I'm successful. But this is just basically just to let you see one of my favourite artists and his book. Well, one of his books. I think he's, he's produced many. A ah, fox under a tree, just as I would envisage, over in Leafy's wood. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Another road deer. So yeah, I hope this has gave you a bit of an insight into Rien's art, paintings and books.
went through a few pages. Obviously, I'm not going to be going through the whole whole lot. Now, this is an interesting page. This is where he picks all the eyes for all the different animals. Shows you all the different eyes and whatever, and he explains why they have those kind of eyes and whatever. And the same goes for tusks and teeth and different animals and whatever, especially the wild, the wild boar. But yeah, lots of information. Information stacked high in this book. Lovely. I hope this has gave you an insight, as it says, into Rayon's art, and you'll probably look it up now. But, yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And that's the book, the Ark. Rayon Portlivet. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that book review of Rien Port Levet and I'll say bye bye for now I think. I think it's time for tea time so yeah we'll go on to the next vlog. Anyway, other artists, books and whatever to follow soon. Bye bye.